Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be learning about the Selection and Lasso tools. We can find our Selection tool in our Navigation Bar right down here. It's next to the Pan tool. If our Navigation Bar isn't turned on, then we can go to the Tools drop-down, Mouse Over Toolbars, and here it is. It should be on by default. This tool works in two different ways, and it's based on the direction that you begin from. So, if we were be going to begin from right to left, then we would only need to partially select our objects in order to actually select them. So I'm not going to fully select this area here and this radius right here. So, I'm going to let go, and I've actually selected the objects even though they weren't fully inside of the box when I selected them. Now I'm going to do the opposite. If I begin from left to right, and I'm only going to partially select this radius in this area again, I'm not going to select them, I'm only going to select what was fully enclosed inside of the box. So, from left to right, it has to be fully enclosed, and from right to left, it only needs to be partially enclosed. And that's basically how the Select tool works. We can also use our Shift key in order to select multiple objects. So, we can then click on an object, then we can hold Shift, and then click on another object, and it'll be part of the selection queue. If you let go of Shift and try to select another object, then all the other objects will deselect themselves and you'll only select the one that you just clicked on. Now, there are a few nuances to the Shift key and using the selection tools. So, for example, if I select this group right here of objects, and then I hold Shift and let's say that I wanted to select this group and include it with this selection up here. So, I'm going to do that. I'll begin from right to left and I'm going to now select that, and the problem is that it deselects everything that you had previously and it only selects the new content. So basically the selection tool can only be used once, and then what you could do afterwards is you could hold shift and then select extra objects to add to the original selection. So that's one way to basically increase the amount of objects that you've selected, especially if you want to select objects that are in between other objects that you don't want to select. So you can't use the selection tool twice, but you can use Shift to select multiple objects in order to assist you with using it. We can find the Lasso tool by going to the Edit drop-down, and here it is. We can also use Shift-O while we're on our drawing area. So let's use the Lasso tool. It's also found here in one of our shortcut bars. The specific one is, if we right-click next to an existing bar, we'll find that the Zoom toolbar is the one that it resides in. So if I turn that off, the Lasso tool up here is now gone. If I turn it back on, there it is again. So let's use the Lasso tool. And this is basically a freeform select tool, so we don't have to rely on a rectangular shape. And this is quite useful if we need to not select objects that are in the way or in the same area as other objects. So for example, I don't want to select this diameter right here, but I do want to select this length along with the other markups here. So I'm going to start from this corner. I'm going to make a nice freeform shape. It doesn't really matter if I'm perfect with this. I'm going to now avoid that diameter, and I'm just going to partially select the length. And I don't need to manually close the lasso. I can actually just leave my mouse where it is and just let go, and it'll automatically close itself. And there it is. I've avoided the diameter, and I've selected everything else. And this is why the lasso tool can be quite useful in this scenario. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on the selection and lasso tools. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.